Okay, in this video we will be covering the topic of the jaw and how to open it for singing. If you have trouble with jaw tension, tongue tension, or difficulty just simply being able to open your jaw, then this video is for you. We will be taking a simple exercise that comes from Dr. Mariano Rocavado who is one of the leading TMJ experts in the world. And we're going to have a little adaptation of one of his exercises. So basically, this is the exercise. You're going to take the tip of your tongue, place it behind on the ridge behind your upper teeth. So right here. And then you just open your mouth. That's all the exercise is. This gets you to open your jaw correctly. Now there are a few points that I would like to emphasize with this that might help you out if you're having difficulty. One, think of trying to expose or show as much of the underside of your tongue as possible. Don't think so much about opening your mouth. Think more about, I want to show my tongue, the bottom side of my tongue, as much as I can. So, if you do it incorrectly and you do it more by opening trying to open your mouth, it will look like this. And you'll get more stuck in the muscles right here. It will not move properly. The jaw will not move properly from here. Versus, now the jaw stays released in these muscles here and it moves properly in the condyles. So again, the incorrect way versus the correct way. Incorrect versus the correct way. So what you might have noticed me doing there is when I opened the correct way, my head looked up, tilted upwards a little bit, and that is fine. And that leads me into my second tip that can help you out with this is instead of thinking of opening your mouth per se with the jaw moving down, think more of your skull the whole skull itself rotating upwards and backwards away from your jaw. If you think more of your mouth moving down to open, it'll, you'll get this. It'll just get that. That's no good. That keeps everything tense up in here. Versus more or less the jaw stays still and the skull rotates away from it. Then you get the opening much better. And the third point or tip that can help you out with this exercise is the activity of the muscles in this area of the face. So your cheek muscles and the muscles up above the lip, they will activate when you are opening the jaw correctly, especially the cheek muscles up in this area. So if you open and you're keeping, and you're keeping your face dead, you will not open correctly. So if you open like this, and you're gonna stuck up in here. But if you let the muscles here activate, like you're smiling like this, you, they'll activate when you smile. Think of that when you're trying to open more. That will allow you to be, open, to be able to open the jaw much more without inducing tension. So watch, it's not this. This is the dead position versus I see I can show more of the underside of my tongue when I do it that way. So those are three tips that you can play around with if you're having a little bit of trouble with this exercise initially. So then that will take us to the next portion of this exercise, which is we're going to open two different ways. One way we are going to call opening vertically. The other way we are going to call opening horizontally. When you're opening vertically, the corners of the lips will stay relaxed. And we're going to think of a vowel sound when we are opening this way. We're going to think of ah when we're opening vertically. So it will look like this. See how the corners of the lips here stay relaxed? Muscles here are still active, but the corners of the lips are relaxed. And in my mind, I'm thinking ah, 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 ah. Now, for the horizontal way of opening, you're going to think 
ah in your mind. The corners of the lips will spread more this way when you do this. So watch, this is what it looks like. Here it is again. So, you have two ways of opening. Thinking vertical opening, think the vowel ah. And the horizontal opening, thinking the vowel ah. And here they are side by side. And that can be the second part of your exercise. So, what you will do is before you start your singing routine for the day or before you get ready for a performance, just sit and run through this, run through 10 to 20 repetitions of this. So you can do maybe 10 repetitions opening vertically for the ah, and then 10 repetitions opening horizontally for the ah. And that will just give you that little tactile reminder of how is my jaw supposed to move? How can I move it more freely? Now, where we can take this to the next level is you start off in one of your, either your vertical or your horizontal position, and then you let the tongue fall. So like this. And then you just let the tongue sit in the mouth, but still keeping the exact same mouth opening that you had as when the tongue was up against the alveolar ridge behind your upper teeth. So I'll do it again for the vertical opening. And you can just sit and simply hold that for several seconds, just getting used to that position, getting used to being able to breathe in and out while keeping your jaw open like that. It should be very comfortable to do. You can try the same thing for the horizontal position for ah, so it'll look like this. That's all it is. So then we will take this to the final part of this exercise, which is vocalizing on the ah. So you will start off with the tip of the tongue against the alveolar ridge behind your upper teeth, and then let the tongue drop. Then say ah. Ah, ah, ah. You should be able to say that easily. Then, with your mouth still open like that, you're going to sing a scale. It can be any kind of scale you like. Five tone scale works well for this. And it'll just be like this. Ah, 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 ah. like that try to keep your mouth open in the exact same position don't let the mouth close when you're going up the scale so don't go ah don't do that keep it open the exact same way and learn how to make all of your resonance shifts in the back of the throat with the mouth being open like that so ah and learn to keep your throat in that relaxed position. So, that's the exercise. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You can write it below the video. And thanks for watching.